It's my pleasure today to connect you to a revolutionary new palette loaded with innovation, developed by the Dutch startup company Arma. This new lightweight palette will create optimal control of the supply chain, lower costs, and offer a sustainable solution to the market. The palette has been designed by combining the unique properties of MDF medium density fiberboard, wood, and the polyurethane coating from BASF. During the development stage, Armour were looking for a partner for the polyurethane coating. Their choice was BASF, who, with our local facilities in the Netherlands, were quick to respond to Armour's request. And we could uh, provide them with local technical service and advice on the polyurethane, as well as on the processing and production equipment. The first samples were coated at our local system house in Boxtel for testing by Arma. And the teamwork with Arma continues today and includes also our technical development center at our headquarters in Lemferde, not far from here, where further work is now ongoing to meet the new requirements coming from Arma's customers. A high quality grade of our Elastocoat C range for spray coating protects and seals the surface, increasing the life of the pallets. It, effect it effectively protects the surface from water, dirt, and microbial infestation. Pallets can now also be cleaned and washed quickly, which is a requirement from the food, beverage, and pharmaceutical industries. Elastocoat not only protects the surface, it also improves the surface properties. It's got excellent wear and abrasion properties. It's tough and durable, also at low temperatures. And by applying a special spray technique, Armin can create a rough anti-slip surface that ensures safer transport of goods. Our Elastocoat C is easy to process, can be used in automatic spray lines, as the one you see at Armour here, for continuous production. This really is a revolutionary new palette loaded with information technology and connected to the Internet of Things, offering new services to the supply chain, which Eric will talk to you more about. A warm welcome to all of you. Arma is an asset pooling company in, in logistic supply chains. And what we do is we innovate uh, in new products and all our products uh, have to be connected to the internet so that we can improve supply chains. Thanks to BSF, we launched today the first hybrid pallet uh, on the market. You see here an exploded view of the pallet. It looks a bit different uh, uh, maybe than what you're used to uh, if you see a normal pallet. Uh, all the parts which are exposed uh, to the outside are protected with the uh, BSF PU coating, which makes it very durable. You would say, well, why start with a pellet? Well, simply because there's a huge demand on pellets. There are about 9 billion pellets in the world, and it really makes literally the, uh, the world uh, go round. So let me show you how the pellet is being made and what the properties are. The deck of the pellet uh, is a lightweight structure composed by uh, MDF, which is formed into a grid. This grid gives the strength, the basic strength of the pellet. After we made the deck, the, the deck is coated by the PU coating. What you see here, it's done by robots, so it's very consistent with high quality. After that, all the parts of the pellet you just saw on the view are being glued together. So we don't use nails or glass, which are products uh, we don't like in supply chains. So the whole pellet is glued together with a special adhesive. This combination of all these products gives, gives it uh, nice properties. As Gorm already said, it's, it's durable, it's washable, it has fixed dimensions, which is very important uh, when using robots in the supply chain. 
Um, and we can also, and that's very special, we can also repair the pellet, which you cannot do with a normal plastic pellet. The pellet itself indicates when it needs repair, it signals when it's broken, and we can take the pellet uh, parts uh, together again and remove uh, uh, the bad parts and replace them by new parts. How does this work? As soon as we made the pellet, the pellet has become active. It starts communicating with the internet. Uh, you see on the right top, you see that it automatically signals where it is, position, which is very important in supply chains. But it does some more things. It also says what temperature it is. It's uh, 70 degrees there. Um, it moves, it measures weight, the weight on the pellet. It measures movement. And that's very important. So as soon as we start uh, using the pellet, the pellet knows where it's going to because it's connected to the internet and that makes it possible, to, for example, that the pellet becomes smart. The nine billion pellets, if we would all replace them, knows which way they are going and, then, and they can make themselves uh, a, a nice routing through uh, smart software. If you would connect it to blockchain technology, for example, uh, it even can send its own bills. Um, and now it's going faster. Let's see what happens. So here you see in live what happens. The pellet is really being followed. So we can easily scale it. So if it's one pellet or a thousand pellets or a million pellets, it doesn't matter. The customers see it on their dashboard and can really follow not only the pellet, but of course their goods on it. And that is very important. They get reports on dashboards. They can modify their own dashboards. Uh, they can do whatever they like, because of the software. They can also get alerts, which is very important. Um, so if goods on the pallet are being transported with a too high temperature, the customer get it, gets an alert. It can even be on your laptop or on your smartphone. It gets alerts. You see here as well on the button that you can also indicate whether the pallet is damaged or should be cleaned. It's all directly connected to the internet, and insurance companies love it. Because if it's damaged, you just push the damage button and there's a date timestamp, you can make a picture of it, so you know exactly where the goods which are on the pellet are damaged. After its lifetime, which is about 10 years, so we're really contributing to the circular economy, the pellet comes back to Arma, we test it, we can expect it, and we put a new transponder in, because the battery is empty after 10 years. After 10 years, uh, sending 36,000 data events a year. Um, that's, the, that's how long it lasts. But we can also reprogram it over the air because it's an active transponder during its lifetime. So we complete the circle by removing the bad parts, putting new transponders in it, and, uh, and the pellet is ready for another 10 years in the supply chain. I'd like to show you something else and then I'll finish, you all have this small pellet in your bag. This small pellet is an example just what we can do. There is a small transponder on the back side of the pellet. Um, if you scan the code, QR code, you can download an app, or you can go immediately to your store and download the Arma micro pellet app, and then you are connected to this pellet. Please don't do it now, because otherwise uh, you're connected to 100 pellets. It's long-range Bluetooth, low energy, so it lasts long. So what you see if you download the app, you see a, a logo. So if you move the pellet, you see the, the, the pellet moving, which simulates exactly what we do in reality with the real products. But you can also see the temperature. And if you push on the right top button, you see the location. So uh, you can track and trace yourself, or if you want to track and trace somebody else, just give it as a present. <laughs> Don't forget to download the app, eh? otherwise uh, uh, you cannot follow her or uh, him. Eh? But most of the people do it with their partner. Um, so please do it after you leave, and then uh, download the app, and you will see what is possible uh, now already and not in the future. Thank you very much. BASF. We create chemistry.